This video is about how to load Wave presets or how to install Wave presets so you can use them in Waves plugins. So these presets I'm going to show you how to use will be free. These are free all the time. The link will be in the description box and we'll get to the website. I do wanna say one thing. These presets are made by professionals, but you should use them as a starting point. So with that, let's go ahead and go to the website. So uh, the website is right here. And the link will be in the description box. And once you go to waves.com, you can go right here to downloads and you'll see free downloads. And then you'll see free plugin presets from top producers and mixers. Just click on that and then click on download now. There's also a list of the presets right here. So you know what you can, what you're going to get. It's a ton of them, a whole bunch. Uh, also, there is some more as well hidden across the website. Just, I'm going to go and get the SSL again because I can get all the SSL presets. So I'm going to go over here, select SSL 4000 collection. And I am going to download. All right, so I have the file here. And it says free plugin presets. I just took it out of my download folder. I'm gonna extract here. Extract or unzip. It goes through the process. Get the folder. And there we have the waste presets right here. And as you can see, there's a ton of them. Goodness. So I'm gonna go over here to my DAW choice, which is able to live right now. I'm gonna show you an FL a little later. And I'm gonna to go to load. So I already have you know, what I wanna load up in there. So I'm gonna to go to load. Then I'm gonna navigate, since it's on my desktop, I'm gonna to go to na navigate to my desktop. And now, go to presets. I'm gonna find SSL. You. I'm gonna load in the Andrew Thornton collection. Boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the example. All right, so I'm gonna use this again. I'm gonna use this as a starting point. I'm not gonna use that exact preset like it is. As you can see, it's in the red. Some people have a problem with that. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that button so I can adjust that snare. Uh, well, I know some people will have some a problem with that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave it at at that right here, so you guys won't freak out. So, anyways, that's pretty much it right there. That's all you have to do is just hit this low button and then uh, go to open preset and then just load them in at your very will. And then I'm gonna go over here. Snare top one. And that's basically about it. For those who use FL Studio, the process is just the same. All you have to do is select the Waves plugin. I'm going to select the R Base because <laughs> I love R Base. I'm going to go and open preset folder. Be over here. I'm going to go to my desktop again because it's on my desktop. My free Waves presets. Plug in here. Go to Renaissance Base. I got some stuff in here. We got Thornton Kickstarter. And then there you go. It, it works the same way. And you also see that Waves plugins work in FL Studio. Hopefully, this video wasn't confusing to you. I hope it helped you. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below. And please check out my top five favorite Waves plugins video. I think there's some pretty cool plugins and the reason why I like those plugins as well as support the link in the description box if you like this tutorial. And there's also a coupon for 10% off as well. So check it out, support this channel, and thank you so much.